Yo, welcome to Culture Talk. I'm your host, Ray. We're here right now with Tay Keith. Yeah, what's, what's good? good? What's good? Chilling, man. So I met you, what, a couple months ago up at Agenda? Yeah. How's it been out here? Man, you know, it's, it's really like, I'm really trying to balance everything out, you know what I'm saying? You got like school, then you got the music, then that shit kind of, it's, it's taking off more than I thought, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's really just about balancing out, trying to go on and knock out the school and get to where I need to What are you studying at school? Yeah, y'all yeah, still in school. What are you studying? Oh, well, I'm studying media yeah. management. Media management? Yeah, so I study the industry a lot, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, that's really one of my main, like, goals and focus to do is just, like, I don't really know what I'm going to do with the degree, you know what Would I'm saying? Would you want to kind of do your own label? Yeah. Like, yeah. your own production label? Eventually, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, like, I still own all my publishing now, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, like, a lot of producers in my situation would have been saying they publishing over, so... For me to still have my publishing and, and still elevate, you know what I'm saying? So that it's, allows you to get like the whole check, right? Instead of having to pay off. So, so I mean, I I'll, I'll probably get into into that field of publishing music and owning my own publishing overall. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I feel like production nowadays is where it's at. Right. So if you're able to kind of, I guess, obtain right. your own stuff. Uh huh. You should be able to market yourself pretty well. Yeah, I mean, you know, like like they like they said back in the day, when Master P did the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like the, I don't know what was the situation or how it came, but I know like the, um, whatever label was trying to sign and was trying to get his publishing. You know what I'm saying? But somehow he figured out how to keep his own publishing. And, and Master P yeah, is yeah. always set. <laughs> watching his IG all the time, man. Right. Dude's going nowhere. Yeah. So I feel like you know eventually. It'll, it'll, it'll do me good and more justice, even though I ain't just like seeing everything I'm supposed to be seeing now, but I'm still getting the control over or learning more of the game to get more control over my own music and my own publishing rights and shit. But yeah, everything moves smooth. You know, Where do you see I, yourself in like five years? Five years? Uh, I mean, you know, when I move, when I leave Nashville, I'm, I'm move, probably move to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? So whatever they're taking, you know, it's a, it's a way bigger market. It's a lot more shit to do out there. Yeah, but working with so many Memphis people, would you feel like Atlanta would take away from some of that culture? No, nah, not necessarily. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, in a way, yeah, but in a way, Because no. Atlanta hip-hop and, like, Memphis hip-hop is, like, way different. Way different, yeah. Because I feel like I'm from up north. So when I right. came out here, it was all southern right. Memphis, Louisiana, <laughs> Alabama, yeah. all hip-hop out here. Right. Like, very rarely do I hear, like, ASAP or Jay-Z. Yeah. I heard Nas like twice since I've right. been out here. You know, um, something I learned about like the, the culture of music and hip hop is that shit changed. It's always changed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's always like, a new wave. I feel like Memphis is the new wave. It got that, that three six, you know what I'm saying? That old drummer boy, Memphis trap boy, you know what I'm saying? That that sound wave area is is, is carrying on until like yeah. the, the Juicy J is still relevant. Like, right. <laughs> Juicy J's been around for a while. Yeah, he yeah, he's still relevant. Was I it? get that to him. Yeah, Yo Gotti dropped his First, uh, first tape, what, 21 years ago? Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, you know. under Lil Yo. Yeah. <laughs> so like, he's been out for 21 years, right? and you're 21 years old. 21 years Do you years feel old. like your generation is about to push all that out? Or do you think like Yo Gotti and Dolph and all them still have a shot? You know, uh, one thing Gotti told me, he was like, you know, he, he, he been watching what I've been having going on as far as like the sound and shit and, and the artists I've been working with and shit, like the shit we've been going been having going on. And one thing about it, like for Gotti to reach out to me and tell me that is is like, he was a big influence on me. You know what I'm saying? Like his music, like when he was coming up and with all the cocaine music series from from part, I think I started listening to part two, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. what's he getting? Music too, to own up to the last one, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit molded me into what I do, so I feel like the culture gonna always exist in a way, you know what I'm saying? Cause, cause shit, most of the shit that I did, uh, I didn't I didn't make came from that Memphis culture sound, you know, from the three six to the Gotties to the, to the, to the Project Pats, you know what I'm saying? And, and the, the list goes on, you know, it's just that sound, that, that it crunk shit, you know. Yeah, I mean? no. It's like Louisiana. It's way different. Sound, you know yeah. What I mean? So now we got like another segment called this or that. Okay. Which yep. I'm pretty much gonna give you two things. All right. You're gonna have to choose from. Yeah. I'm gonna lead it off with Kyrie <laughs> and Iverson, yo. I'm a Virginia kid. So you know I gotta pick Iverson. I got I gotta say Iverson just because Iverson a legend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Kyrie he, handles are so nasty though. Yeah. And he can shoot now. And he's taking over Boston. Right. First place right now. Yeah. No Gordon Hayward. 
everybody else is getting hurt. Right. I, the only reason I say Iverson is because, you know, Iverson molded, he even kind of molded that shit. For that like, sleeve. <laughs> I cut up my tube socks like once a week just to put it on. Right. Uh, yeah, definitely Iverson, though. All right. Martin or Fresh Prince? Ooh. You know, I've been watching Martin lately. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been fucking with Martin lately. Yeah, Pam. I like, I like Martin. So I, so I had to go with Martin. Fresh Prince was a classic, too, but I fuck with Martin more. Yeah. Will Smith as a rapper or yeah. Will Smith as an actor? What song? What rap song he had? He's been at like Summertime and all yeah, that. Yeah, he, he had a couple. He Big Willie style, Wild Wild West. He had a couple of bangers, but you know, Will yeah, Smith is a better person as an actor anyway. Yeah. You know, I can't just say Will Smith rap. I don't know his shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? All right. Jordans or Adidas? Or Nike or Adidas? Uh, Adidas is coming strong, but yeah. I, don't, I don't think I can, I can fold. Uh, I got to say Nike because Nike got so many different Nikes out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Adidas, you got Yeezys and you got the classic Adidas. So. And that's about it. Shell yeah. toes, Yeezys. Yeah. I that's can't really it. fuck with the Nomads too much. Yeah. I think, yeah, I say, I say Nike. All right. But uh, what's your favorite Jordan of all time? Uh, oh, that's a good one. You know, uh, shit, it had to be Joint 20s. I love The them. 20s? Yeah, with the straps. I love yeah. I love them. The 20s, yo. I'd buy every color if I could. You know, yeah. If I could find them, I'd buy them. Yeah, every I think color. it's rare to find someone to say, such a late Jordan. Yeah, I mean the the thing is, when I was growing up, I couldn't get the J's, and when I when I was able to get a pair of J's, it was the twenties. I had the red ones. Yeah, it was the ones that always sat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when I got them J's, I, I loved them. I loved them to death. I would have the, the soul out them motherfuckers. So. All right. Definitely them. And so now you're in Nashville. You go right. to MTSU. Right. Do you miss Memphis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm missing Memphis right now. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm what do you more, miss about Memphis? Just like my people, you know, because yeah. it's, it's like I hear, you know, it's, it's, it's good for like networking in college, the college vibe and shit. But, you know, when you got you got home, you know, like my folks, you know what I'm saying? True. And you know, all the folks I grew up with and shit, you know, we when I go to Memphis, we all kicking it. You know what I'm saying? I try to spend time, a little time with everybody. I try to go see my folks, my aunties and uncles and shit. And I try to go kick it with folks from the hood and shit. You know what I'm saying? There's different people. So it'd be, you know, I love that. that I mean, I can't say I moved back to Memphis, though. Yeah. How yeah. long have you been in Tennessee now? Uh, you just turned 21. Yeah, so 21. I've been, no, I've, been, I've been in Tennessee my whole I life. I mean, uh, Nashville. Yeah, Nashville. I've been in Nashville, what, three years going on for now. Okay. So. And that's kind of when you started getting big. Yeah. Is when you kind of came out here. You know, when, when I was in high school, I had a couple, like, bangers, like, as far as, like, locally, like, Rico De Nero, so trifling. So that was that was kind of trending like my 12th grade year and shit. So it kind of had like people was knowing who I was around that time, like in the city wise. Now, how is it going back after <laughs> like Shoot and Gang Gang uh, came yeah. out, I and mean, now these songs are all over? Yeah. Now you come back, is it? Yeah, it's. Do the it's, girls flock? Yeah, you know when I when I left Memphis, I was walking. You know, I didn't have a car. You know, I was staying with my mama and shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I was like. I got, you know, got my shit together, I'm more stable. So when I go, I'm, I'm going to more places, I'm visiting more people, and it's, it's, it's more love, it's more tension. Yeah, now you're old enough to go to the clubs and all that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah now you, know, you can I'm hear your own songs. Know, yeah. So I can, like, when I go to the club, I mean, people show me love. It's, just, it's still like Memphis, you know what I'm saying? So I still got to watch my back, you know what I'm saying? But as far as, like, the love, that I'm getting from Memphis is, is is major now. Like I'm like people come up to me want to take pictures and shit like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, How is it on campus? <laughs> same way? Do many people yeah. know who you are on campus? They be want to take pictures of me and shit. Like record me. I don't be with all that. You know, I be trying to be low key, go to class. Yeah, just throw the hoodie up yeah, and just like yeah. hide. I'm that type of guy on campus, you know. But it ain't it ain't too much of a big issue. I, it's what I asked for. You know what I'm saying? I signed up for that shit, so it's cool. Yeah, and you're only starting, so yeah. Yeah. Just give it another year and see how much you hate it. <laughs> All right, we got another segment called Five for Five. Okay. Top five favorite foods. Uh, Rotel. Yeah. Hot wings, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I love Papa John's pizza. Shit. Yeah. I love that shit. Uh, let me see what else. Even after everything he's been saying lately? I don't see. I don't give yeah, a fuck. Yeah, it's good. still good, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Uh, I like 
queso. I love queso. Ro queso, rotel, kind of like some of my things. Yeah, but rotel, I, I just got introduced to that out yeah. here. Yeah, I just got you introduced just, to it. Yeah, I didn't know anything about that. I'm from New York. <laughs> Even growing up in Richmond, man, Yeah. I didn't have grits. So like the first time it was like served to me on the tray, and I Straight was up. like, all right, I guess I'll try it. Uh, catfish, I was like 22, sweet potatoes. Yeah. What's 20? And uh, i say my fifth one is burgers. Yeah. Burgers. Simple finger foods, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Little burgers. Got to keep it. Top five producers of all time. Top five? Shit. Of course, you said Dr. Dr. Dre. Dre. Yeah. Timberland. Kanye. Um, drummer boy from Memphis. Oh, yeah. yeah. For the whole town. And uh, Speaker Knockers. Yeah. yeah. Speaker Knockers. Yeah, all right. So do you like Kanye as a rapper or producer? I fuck with the old Kanye more than I fuck with the new Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Like but graduation Kanye? Definitely. Yeah, I say graduation. Graduation, college one. dropout, uh, 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 808, the 808 joint. I, yeah, yeah. I fuck with that Kanye, you know what I'm saying? So I, I had to say I fuck with him now as more of like a producer than a rapper. But back then, his, his shit legendary. Yeah, what do you think about him pro completely producing Kid Cudi's new album? Right, and, and it's, it's not just Those, Kid Cudi. It's a lot of other people too, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but like Kid Cudi and Kanye are both like... Right. Such artistic people, right. and the fact that like two icons like that, like Kid Cudi's kind of been off to the side. He's forever going to be one of the coolest kids of this generation. Right. <laughs> but then you put like Kanye, mix him with Kid Cudi. Uh, I, I say like this shit gonna be classical. Of course it's gonna go platinum. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, it's, out it's the gate, so just platinum. just for the fact. Right, just the fact that Kanye been so low key for so for a minute. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna go platinum. But I'm I'm definitely you know, like waiting on anticipating on that shit to come out for sure. Cause I'm a Kid Cudi fan and I'm a Kanye fan. In order from like one to five, like which city do you think has the best hip hop? Of course, I'm gonna say Memphis. Memphis, yeah, yeah. You know, we 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 start a lot of shit. But then Atlanta, number two. Uh, then I had to say New York. Number three. Yeah, New York, number three. Then LA, number four. Then the fifth one would probably be Miami. Miami. Yeah, Miami. Yeah. Now I don't know, man. Atlanta is kind of coming in strong. Right. Yeah. I just feel like Memphis is more legendary. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got a lot of legendary shit, and a lot of people look up to the, the, the Memphis legends, too, in the industry. You know, like yeah. Project Pat, like Gucci. That's Gucci's favorite rapper, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and Gucci's <laughs> half the world's favorite rapper. Right. I say DC's coming in strong yeah. a little bit. The DMV area? Yeah. Yeah. Like, Virginia's sure. got a couple, like, Pharrell, Nerds Back. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've seen that. I, I feel like, it. yeah, I feel like they're their own culture. Right. It's so hard for them to get, like, club hits. Right. So without the club hits, you don't really get, like, the notoriety. But I feel like the DC with, like, Gold Link and all that. Yeah. Gave me a little right. go-go vibe. But you know like, what? Like, Wale tried to do the go-go vibe. Right. But it was hard for him to catch on. But check this out. Like, the the the, the crew song with the yeah. Lizzy, Shock Lizzy. You know who the producer was? Hmm. It's this guy named Teddy. He's from Memphis. Okay. You know what So I'm it's still got a Memphis it's influence. Still, still so Memphis, Memphis is still number one. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we can't take anything away. Straight up. So now I'm going to ask you about Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> yeah. Both you, he's 21 too, right? Yeah, me and Blood yeah. Boy are 21. And you guys, you did like half half his last CD, right? Yeah. How many songs do you have on there? Shit, been like half of it. Yeah. So uh, basically how that started, how that shit came about is me and Blood Boy stayed on the street and over from each other. You know what I'm saying? So you guys grew up together? Yeah, like high school type shit. So, you know, we were just like, you know, he was recording and I was making beats, I was progressing and shit. So we ain't just had that much shit back in the day, but we did have something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We was doing we was doing our shit together. And, uh he was like he wanted to drop a mixtape, you know what I'm saying? It was like maybe three, four years ago and shit. He was like he wanted to drop a mixtape. So he wanted me to make him a cover for the tape. So I ended up making him a cover. And he ended up, he dropped the mixtape like a year after I made the cover, you know what I'm saying? I thought he was bullshit, I thought he was yeah. playing. But it was uh, Who Am I? So I had made the cover for Who Am I? He ended up dropping the mixtape on it, uh, dropping the mixtape for it. And that was like 2015, I want to say. Yeah, because this is Who Am I 3, right? Yeah, Who Am yeah. I 3. So, you know, as that did happen, it just progressed on it. He kept going at it and shit like that. I was doing my own thing, he was doing his own thing. And just somehow we just. Did you work on the first two Who Am I's? Yeah, like okay. all of them. You know, uh, I had something to do with all of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hosted from, well, like, not really hosting, but like my co sign 
my name on it was for yeah. like the, all the tapes, you know what I'm saying? So we we been at it together, you know what I'm saying? It just like it just kind of like yeah, you just know what I'm fine. <laughs> like that one song just finally clicked. Yeah, it just went, it just clicked. So where, where do you think you guys are gonna go now? Man, you know we it's I look, I'm looking at it now like we like the new Chief Keith and, and and Young Chop, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the direction it's going in, cause we got so many other hits and bangers that's that's catching on now. Like the his first song wasn't even shoot that just caught fire. It was it was really no cause part six. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I see that one's almost got as many yeah as many views. There's million some views, but yeah. you gotta think about it. That's no cause part six. So it mean it had to be a five, four, three, two. Yeah, yeah. You know so what I'm saying? So it took a minute to get we, here. It, it took us a minute. You but yeah, I literally got cut off the other day by some dude. Like a little drop top BMW, and I was mad. But then I heard the shoot song come on. I'm like, all right, he's got to be, he's got to be somewhat cool. So, what, what, what do you think next is for him, Blackboard? Uh, you know, Double XL been been fucking with him yeah, strong. Yeah, what a good interview, yeah. with you guys. Actually, they had hit me up about it and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, had followed me on Twitter. I'm like, damn. You know, I had yeah. to look twice. Yeah. Like, damn, this Double XL. Yeah, when is they this DM'd, a legitimate XL? Right. And when they DM me, it just like, damn. This really double XL, like I can see like this shit actually going somewhere. So So are you more proud of shoot or gang gang? <sighs> That's a hard question. I'm 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 proud of both, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. Gang Gang was my first like actual actual club hit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it was like that's a my first national song, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, across the I, country. Yeah, all my homies from Richmond, like you see <laughs> in their Snapchats. So yeah, that song is definitely everywhere. Right. But I say shoot. Is is phenomenal more phenomenal because it's it it's, hits it hits more home right and, yeah, and you guys grew up we grew up you know what I'm saying and and he and we got niggas in the NFL he not shit on national TV yeah. you know what I'm saying um like yeah. today they the, the Ravens was was doing the dance when they they scored you know what I'm saying yeah that's crazy. and that's you right here <laughs> in this room it's crazy um, man. yeah it's got it, it's got to feel a little bit different because it's cool like right. Be working with like Money Bag, working with Young Stuff. Right. But they made a name for themselves. Right. So it's more, I wouldn't say it's more like their song. Right. But you, you definitely have influence on it. But the fact that you guys came Climb up together up, yeah. and you guys put your names out there. Like, you guys, I get more respect for it. I get yeah, more credibility for it. Because you can make a song with your homie <laughs> and have it just as big as they should. As they, yeah. You know, the thing is about me and Money Bag. You know, he he had shit in Memphis when he was coming up. We had did like a song called No Dealings, right? And it was one of one of the biggest songs in the city coming up then, cause it was like his. If I could recall, it was it was his first million views on YouTube. It was my first million views on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To be exact, it was his first hundred thousand views. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we kind of progressed more. Like he kind of progressed more than I did in a way, cause. He, he just had more shit going on as far as like his music career, but I feel like as far as me and Block Boy, we niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we like this, you know what I'm saying? Like we we grew up, the, you know what I'm saying? The same the same neighborhood, the same struggle. Yeah, it's like winning the championship, like right. in your high school. It's just <laughs> like we did it. We put in we put in the work. Put in the work, and made yeah. that shit happen, for real. All right. Well, who do you want to work with next from Memphis? Uh, Did you ever work with Dolph? I can't say. Yeah. I can't even say. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I can't even say. I had to ask that. something about that. <laughs> I know how much you love Gotti and Youngster and Money Back. Yeah, I can't even say. I mean, but honestly, like me and Key Glock, it's like. Yeah. You know, I hosted. I hosted one of his first mixtapes and shit. Yeah, and he just came out to the city not too long ago. All right. Yeah. And um, we did uh. We did a lot of songs, like his first videos and shit. I used to produce them. I used to make the beats, like like Walk On By and shit like that. Uh, we had so many songs back in the day and shit. It's just like I hate that shit happened like it happened. You know what I'm saying? We can't help it though. You know he 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 made he made a way out of Memphis. I made a way out of Memphis. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I just hate that shit happened like that, especially with something that you you believed in and you put time and shit into. You know what I'm saying? For like the to let everything else around and break that shit apart in a way, you know what I'm saying? But I, he's still the homie though. I can still call him up and shit. It's just kind of harder for us to work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Straight up. No, nah, because you seem pretty down to earth. <laughs> I'm sure there's like plenty of politics and all that going on. Yeah, you know, that's the thing about the industry. There's a lot of politics and it's really entertainment, you know what I'm saying? 
that shit just clicked together. So this is crazy. Do you think Nashville got too big too fast and lost its? Uh, I'd say really Nashville just it just gotta have them couple. I mean, you got Lido. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When you you think of Nashville, you hear Starlito. Yeah. Starlito so, got his own sound. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but I feel like if you got another nigga who who come up in Nashville just as hot as Lido, and he got a similar sound, it'll kind of define Nashville sound more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But until that happened, then it's just Lido. You know? Yeah. All right. Well, we'd like to thank Southern Yankee for having us out here. Yeah. Again, my name is Ray. This is Tay Keith. Yeah. This is episode one of Culture Talk. If you want to give any shout outs, give us your Twitter, your IG, yeah. Facebook. Man, anything. i like to shout out to Southern Yankee. And, uh, follow me, y'all follow me on Twitter and Instagram, one, the number one, T A Y K E I T H. So that's one Tay Keith. And that's on uh, Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, follow me on that chat. Good seeing you again. Yeah.